We have investigated Sewell Ferry accident for almost one and a half year and made a provisional conclusion that a sharp turn was made near to Byeongpungdo Island. Crazy Director Kim will explain why the government and the Coast Guard provided the false data that has been repeatedly pointed out. Let's watch the bad first. The Coast Guard said that they rescued the persons without recognition of being sailors and such lies have been being maintained until now. The sailors told lies from the beginning. When the Coast Guard asked what the stem of Seawall Ferry faced at that time, the sailor answered that it was facing the island. The reason for telling such lies is that, only when Seawall Ferry did not turn so much, the cause of the accident may be deemed to be the mistake in steering. What's surprising is that the data distributed by the government in the evening on the same day was completely consistent with the lies of sailors. How could the sailors know in advance that the government would report such tracks that would support their lies? However, such lies were caught by good tracks. CNN received a video from Dula Ace and disclosed it just after the accident. What's more important than the direction of Seawall Ferry is the place of accident. Let's watch a video. Moon had been tracking the Sewol earlier that morning as it was on his radar. He says the ship suddenly made a sharp right turn at a very slow speed. The ship's tracking system, the automatic identification system, was off. At that time, Captain Moon of Dula Ace recorded the place of accident on a hydrographical chart. The government reported that Seawall Ferry turned at this point and, after drifting, sank at this point. The sinking coordinates are same between the government's report and Captain Moon's chart. It might be impossible to fake the sinking point. However, the point of turn shown in Captain Moon's chart is different from government's report by 7 to 800 meters. The fact that the sinking point is consistent between Captain Moon's chart and government's report means that Captain Moon's radar had no trouble and had no deviation. According to the record by Captain Moon, Seawall Ferry turned significantly closer to Byeongpungdo Island. The coordinates of problematic turning points had been unavailable but Director Kim found them. Jindo VTS. What's the accurate position? 34 degrees 10 minutes, 125 degrees 57 minutes. I will tell you the accurate position. Current position is 34 degrees 11.4 minutes, 125 degrees 57.3 minutes. Seawall Ferry is about 220 meters under and about 230 meters right of the position informed by Jindo VTS. You watch the record of Jindo VTS. The coordinates informed by Jindo VTS was not correct and Captain Moon appeared and informed the coordinates of Seawall Ferry obtained in his radar. The positions were checked and, in case of position 3, government's data shows about 200 meters of deviation. The government's tracks are false data. Other coordinates were additionally found. The coordinates of Seawall Ferry were asked by Jeju Office and Mokpo Office told the coordinates of point 4. This position has 450 meters of deviation. It was possible to verify such facts because Captain Moon provided us with the data concerned. Thank Captain Moon. Let's close <laughs> <up. laughs> Hank Yao obtained Navy radar data through Jin Sung Jun, a National Assembly member. Blue smooth tracks were reported by the government and are consistent with sailors' statements. However, Navy radar data shows infractious tracks. The position is inconsistent with government's data. 
What's important in relation to this inconsistency is that the tracks shown in Navy radar data are highly infractious. When looking at this data, weirder matters are found. Seawall Ferry can turn about 18 degrees for 10 seconds but Navy radar data shows significantly rapid turns of Seawall Ferry. Seawall Ferry turned almost 45 degrees in point 1 and point 2, respectively, and turned almost 90 degrees in point 3 and point 4, respectively. Such tracks cannot be made by a 6,000 ton class ship. A professional protecting the government severely criticized saying that Navy radar data was waste. However, other professionals said Navy radar data is usually very accurate. We suspected these radar data lost sections. At first, the data was unavailable for these two sections. When AIS data was compared with Navy radar data, Band points in Navy radar data were consistent with radar data lost sections. Director Kim started to think that the tracks shown in Navy radar data might be the truth and that corresponding parts might be deleted to hide something. Therefore, the word tracks were moved to meet Captain Moon's chart. When I watched this video for the first time, I got Xe flesh. This yellow part is Pyeongpungdo Island. The shape of the tracks is similar with the shape of contours. Especially, the points having L-shaped tracks showed higher consistency. Accordingly, Director Kim thought that the tracks might be related with seabed topography. Let's go back to the past and remember the materials brought from the steering house. There was a white square material among them. It had about 30 centimeters of width and length, respectively, and consisted of two same width paper bundles. Director Kim assumed that such dimensions of papers might not be documents but must be specific purpose of papers and tried to find out the equipment that might use such papers in the steering house. He found the equipment. An echo sounder uses such kind of papers. It uses 15 centimeter width of papers. This echo sounder is used to measure seabed depths. Seabed depths are recorded on these papers like a seismometer. Director Kim obtained accurate seabed maps from Korea Hydrographic and Oceanographic Agency. The wired tracks of Navy radar data were put on the obtained map. The measurement cycle of coordinates is 10 seconds. Therefore, each point shows the position of Seawall Ferry every 10 seconds. When interested parts were magnified, Band parts were found at seabed mountain ranges as if collision occurred. And then, the speed was reduced. Narrow gaps between the points mean low speeds. Look at this section. See while ferry sails fast as shown, collides against a mountain range here, and turns sharply to the left in L shape, and then the speed is reduced as shown. The same is found in other mountain range sections, too. Look at this section. Seawall Ferry sails fast as shown, collides against a mountain range here, and turns sharply to the left in L shape, and then the speed is reduced as shown. Seawall Ferry continues sailing along the contours. The usage of the echo sounder was questionable. It was asked a professional when the echo sounder is used and he answered that it is used for anchoring. As to say, it is used to drop an anchor. Do you remember that left anchor was not seen in the photo taken at about 0932 but appeared since about 0935? Reappeared anchor was not a well clean anchor and seemed to be coated with mud. Director Kim analyzed five minutes before the occurrence of the accident. 
it was found that Seawall Ferry might sail dropping her left anchor to meet the topography so that the anchor would be caught. At the point where the anchor might be caught, Seawall Ferry turned sharply and the speed was reduced. For example, at this position, the anchor might be caught and Seawall Ferry turned but, after that, the speed was increased. At that time, Seawall Ferry sailed at almost the highest speed. You may remember the scene. A passenger was thrown on the sea through a left door from the sofa and was not found after all. Another passenger slid from the sofa and collided against outdoor guardrails resulting in fracture of his ribs. A student collided against a room wall through the door of his room and the lobby. This event might occur in point three inches this figure. There was a cargo truck driver who used Seawall Ferry or Oamana Ferry three times a month at least. He experienced the event during a phone call with his friend on the left board on the third floor. In consideration of the effective angle of view of a man, a picture was drawn to express that the person was looking at Byeongpungdo Island at the position of Seawall Ferry. As he said, the lower part of Byeongpungdo Island was only seen. If he experienced the event of position 4, upper part of the island must be seen but lower part was seen in fact. If he was at this position to meet government's data, whole island must be seen at a look and upper part must be more clearly seen. He said that his body was turned to the left at the moment of the event. If his body was turned to the left, Seawall Ferry must turn to the left. If an anchor was caught, this point might act as a turning axis and Seawall Ferry might turn sharply as shown. And then, the persons in the ship might turn with the ship. You saw this data already and, when the tracks were reproduced based on AIS data, the tracks looked weird. Seawall Ferry turns to the left sharply. It was thought that such weird tracks might be caused by the mistake in the process to fake data but, when thinking the matter again now, such weird tracks might be the truth. It's now possible to explain the tracks which could not be explained by the government until now. These tracks cannot be made during a normal sail but may be made when an anchor is caught. Traces of collisions should also be checked. There is the possibility that the anchor bounded and collided against Seawall Ferry. In fact, guardrails were cut and bent and a steel plate was cut with an external impact. There was nothing but the possibility that such traces were generated with the collisions by the anchor. It is required to confirm that, when considering the weight of the anchor and the speed of Seawall Ferry at that time, the anchor might generate such traces after bounding from seabed. When considering the length of anchor chains and the depth in the place, there is the possibility of collision by the anchor. Confirmation will be possible through calculation of the impulse and simulation tests. When the result of simulation tests is obtained, I will show you the result. Director Kim reviewed lots of data so many times and through numerous trials and errors, made this conclusion. And then, the question to follow such conclusion is why. However, the role of Director Kim is fulfilled with this conclusion. The subject of why is another issue to be separately handled. When Seawall Ferry is salvaged, is it possible to observe the traces of use of the anchor? Special Investigation Committee of Seawall Ferry Accident hired divers and film sunken Seawall Ferry but it was found that anchor parts were cut and disappeared. I will continue supplementation of the data. As the interviews with domestic professionals are impossible, I will contact foreign professionals for verification of my conclusions and will have interviews with them, for improved integrity of the documentary to be produced. The advices and interest of professionals in the press will be appreciated in relation to my conclusions, etc. You may contact me through master.projectboo at gmail.com.